I want to thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Hey, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We have all kinds of new content for you that will bless you every day. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And guess what? You will enjoy this video. This is Jesse the Plant said, enjoy yourself today. Welcome to Glorious Living. It's always a blessing for me to have you come into my Studio C because today we have a great program planned for you. And every time that we've been having these Glorious Living programs, we're getting comments from people that are being blessed. You know, we've already had almost 280,000 views on our Glorious Living program since we began in November of 2021. And this is episode 27. And, I, oh, and I, again, I always have always had, no, you know, you've missed one or two. I have, but, I have. Oh, yeah, but I like I'm, being I've been a sidekick. All of them, but <laughs> I love when you call me. <laughs> I meant that in the nicest way. And I like it because it reminds me like <laughs> I'm the Robin to your Batman. Oh. <laughs> and because we're doing this for Jesus. Excellent. We're doing That's it for right. Jesus. And so. you have a great story for oh, us as I well. Oh, I do. Yes, ma'am. People are writing in from all over the world. And we're just so thankful that you're sharing your glorious stories with us. Mm -hmm. And this one's from Minnesota. And I really love it because it's all about increase okay. and how God wants us to live. It's from <clears> Minnesota. <throat> it says, I started looking back over the course of when I started sowing seed and the harvests I have received. I came across some amazing information about my seed and its increase. I started sowing seed in April of 2019. In one year's time, my seed giving doubled. And from 2020 to 2021, my harvest and my seed sowing tripled plus some. I had never looked at those numbers before until recently. That is absolutely amazing and I'm almost debt free. The harvest has been just as plentiful Praise as the God. increase of seed giving. God is so good, and He is so good. He this is, is awesome. He is good, and He's helping us to live a glorious life. But these testimonies are so important. Yes. You know, it's so important to share your story. Mm -hmm. You know, people love hearing stories. You know, they and do. everywhere I go, I seem to be hearing about a story. And your story is important. Nobody has a story like yours. That's so right. we want to hear your story, how God has touched your life, whether it's through this program or some other ministry, outreach of Jesse Duplantis Ministries. Yes. We just want to hear what's going on in your life. We love to hear it. So if you want to share your story with us, you can comment below or you can email us at partnercare at jdm.org and pray with us. We have a team of people That's around so the clock true. praying and agreeing with you because your glorious miracle will come to pass. We're believing with you in Studio C and I believe it's going through the airwaves <laughs> right now and meeting you wherever you're at. That's so right. we're rejoicing with you. That's right. And it's no accident you're here today. We have a great story about increase from our wonderful guest and then with such a joy to welcome Nicole Moller here at the Studio C. Thank you so much for having <laughs> me. It so is definitely happy. my honor to oh, be here. It's a blessing. So, she and yes. her precious family are Covenant Church members and they're just such a blessing to our minister. Nicole's been married for her, to her husband Lynn Coy. Yes. For 16 years, yes, you don't look yes. old enough to be married. 16 <laughs> years, <laughs> three beautiful children. I'm telling you, the most gorgeous kids. Aww, they thank are. you. Sweet. She's on the program today to share her glorious story of divine increase and to encourage you all to all be keep believing for God to bring you your glorious miracle today. Yes. So welcome, yes. Thanks, welcome, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you, you so look much. gorgeous. Well, thank as, you. As you do. Beautiful, beautiful. I know you're all color coordinated. Yes. Yes. I didn't yes. for yes. pastel. I yeah. know. But you're always sparkling. Oh, well, yes. thank you, Miss Kathy. I know, but I feel like I need to get with the summertime. Oh, no, no, it's no. okay. Be your beautiful. Beautiful. Just be your glorious self. Oh, thank yes. you very much. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Thank you. So yes. well, we're just so happy to welcome you here. I know you watch thank the you show so Absolutely. every week. Yes. Every Friday, 3 o'clock. Oh, yes. 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 That makes me so happy. Yes. And I know your glorious story is just so impactful of where God took you Amen. and where you are now. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. yes. Amen. So I guess just to um, give a, l a little background, yeah. um, my husband and I met in Bible college. Mm -hmm. um, we had set out to um, to do ministry, to mm -hmm. use our lives for the glory of God. And um, unfortunately, we didn't really know too much other than what we knew from college. We knew we loved God and we knew we wanted to serve, um, to him. serve him, to be obedient mm -hmm. to what he had called us to do. And right. so um, we church planted. We served in um, just different roles in church. Mm -hmm. And um, But the sad thing is that we lived in such poverty. So... Wow. There was the poverty line, and we were below, like way, wow. way, way below below the poverty line. Uh -huh. um, I remember one year going to file taxes, and our tax lady just looked at us like, "How are you guys surviving?" Wow. And it's, I don't, we don't know how we were surviving. You know, <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't until um, 
my husband and I, we had this encounter with the Lord. Um, we call it the visitation because it is, it, it so marked and impact our lives. Um, and how long ago was that? This was in 2011. Okay. So about 10 years. 10 years ago. Yes. 11 years um, ago. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit, it was almost, I guess the best way to describe it, in the book of John, mm -hmm. uh, not in the book of John, in the book of Revelation, yeah. John sees a different side of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He walked with Jesus and he knew Jesus. Yes. But he sees a different facet yeah, of him. by the right. Spirit. Yes. He sees him with the Spirit yes. in a different way. Yes. yes. And so that's what happened to us, where we opened our Bibles, and we, instead of seeing it as the woman with the issue of blood, mm -hmm. we saw ourselves in dominion, in power, in authority, that, no, Jesus came so that we could live prosperous lives. Yes. He came so that we could live healed. He came for us to be protected. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's what we did for 18 months. We dug into the Word of God. We we got every, and this was back in the days before, um, like the big shipping companies would ship to your house. We didn't have very much money. And so uh -huh. you could buy a book off of Amazon for a penny. Uh -huh. And you, it was a used book. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and so um, it may have been bent in half, but we just absorbed as much of the word of God, as much um, teaching materials, mm -hmm. listen to as many sermons that right. we could to understand how to and we were you use still in ministry at this time or had we you were, taken out, gotten we, out of ministry? By this point, we had, we had come out of ministry. Right. So we were, the Lord had told us to come out of ministry. And so mm -hmm. at this point, we're just trying to figure out like- You were in transition. We were in transition, mm -hmm. just figuring out like, God, what does this look like? Right. Um, and we- You know, it's very bold uh -huh. to be able to make that change. A lot of people yeah. get stuck. Yes. yes. They, they keep going in a certain direction and God speaks to them, but they're, they're afraid of change. Yes. And so they don't make that change. So that was very bold of y'all yes. to, to, to step back yeah. and listen to the Holy Spirit yeah. and, and let him teach you and train you, yeah. help re-identify who yes. you really are and Amen. what his calling was yes. on your life. And you're, right. I, I just can't wait to hear the rest. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, and, and it's interesting you say that, um, Pastor Kathy, there was, um, there was a time that it was the coldest day of the year. Mm -hmm. And, um, I had, the Lord had given me this song to teach my kids because I wanted, I was getting the word of God, my husband's getting the word of God, and I so wanted my kids to mm -hmm. get the word of God inside of them. Yeah. And there was a song where we would just confess, I'm rich, I'm healed, I'm prosperous, I'm protected. And it was the coldest day of the year, and our, um, our heater was by gas, mm -hmm. and it was turned off. Oh. And... Because you didn't pay the because bill? Because we didn't have the money to pay the Aww. bill. It was, we had to wait until my husband had gotten paid on Friday. How old were your Friday. kids at that time? They were Maybe two and three, oh, three God. and four. You know, young children. They were young children. You had two so at that time. Two at the time. And so we bundled up. I, we were all in layers. We bundled up in a bedroom and I, I turned my blow dryer on just so that there could be some heat in the room. And I remember just singing that song with them, like, wow. confess, I'm rich, mm -hmm. I'm protected, I'm, I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and just remembering hearing like the enemy, like you're teaching these kids that they're rich and look at what you have them in. Wow. And it's like no devil. Mm -hmm. The word of God says I'm rich. That's right. And I don't care what the circumstance looks mm -hmm. like. I'm rich. Yeah, you were following God's yes. example, which yes. Abraham did as well. The That's book of Romans amazing. tells us he, he yeah. called those things that be yes. not as though they were. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So you didn't see what you wanted, yes. but, uh, but you didn't confess what you had. You yes. were looking for, forward to something. You were on a journey. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. And that, I, I was. Um, that's one of the things that stood out, like God will give you an extraordinary life. You wrote yes. that in your book. Yes. If you, it's just, it's the trusting and the obedience to mm -hmm. him. Yes. He will give you that extraordinary mm -hmm. life. Like, don't give up. Mm -hmm. And... Um, in, in the natural, it would have been easier because my family is here, my husband's family is here. It would have been easier for us to just, okay, let's just pack Reach up and go right. and go with them. But we were so determined, like, God, your word says it. You're not missing it. Mm -hmm. We're missing it. And mm -hmm. so we need to figure out what we need to do to, to get it. Yeah. Because so what was the turning point? Yeah. So I feel like the turning point for us came, and the Lord increased us little by little. Uh -huh. So little by little, he increased us. And then... We began, it wasn't until we began seed sowing. Mm -hmm. um, we had purposed in our heart, regardless of what came in, we were going to sow a certain amount. Mm -hmm. And um, initially for me, it just started as the gratitude of like, God, you've taken me from here. Mm -hmm. And at that time, in the natural, it would have just been a great life. Like, this is just good. Mm -hmm. um, but we determined to sow above mm -hmm. the tithe. Mm -hmm. And um, there was actually, I don't think I've ever shared this with you, but there was a time um, the Lord had 
he was dealing with my heart and my husband's heart about when you have an encounter with the Lord and just the men of God in the Bible, like Abraham and um, just different men in the Bible, when they would have an encounter with God, they would always sow. Mm -hmm. and That's so true. So we were taking our daughter out to eat and we ran into Brother Jesse in the parking lot of a restaurant. And so we just told him hello. And then we didn't know where he was walking to because we still had to get the kids out the car. So we get into the restaurant and we're seated directly across from you guys. And my husband and I are like, oh my gosh, like God, you've placed Brother Jesse and Pastor Kathy mm -hmm. here. And we believe that this is a moment for us to sow, like mm -hmm. you've created this opportunity. And at the time we didn't, we didn't carry cash and we're just believing God to be in the restaurant to, to, mm -hmm. to yeah. take our daughter. And so um, my husband got up, he had to go find an ATM machine and, and we sowed. And that same week, the wisdom of God for what we do today mm -hmm. came. Amen. And so I always like to say, like, we went to Bible college. We don't know how to do what we're doing. But when we sow, sometimes that it comes back in the form of wisdom. It That's does. right. And sometimes it comes back in the form of, but, but don't despise the wisdom. Look right. for that wisdom. Exactly. And so, um, so fast forward, we're seed sowing. And every year that we would sow, our our tithe the next year would be what we sowed the previous year. And so we were literally doubling. Mm. So we would double every Praise year, God. every year, every year. Yes, yeah. supernatural. Yeah, supernatural, absolutely, supernaturally. Um, we would double. Mm -hmm. And um, last year, and so with Faith Connectors, that's something that you talk about in the Word of God, just mm -hmm. grabbing hold to those encouraging testimonies. Mm -hmm. um, the beginning of... 2021, coming out of 2020, going into 2021. My husband and I had heard a testimony. It was a young couple, they were in business. Um, and they had, they had sowed six figures to the gospel. Mm -hmm. And so that became our confession. Mm -hmm. we, we thank you Jesus that we sow six figures into the gospel. Mm -hmm. And we quoted that, that was our confession. We even sowed towards sowing <laughs> six <laughs> figures into the gospel. And so um, it was the beginning of this year and it's, uh, it was maybe like February, March. And we're like, well, maybe let's check to see like what Actually, like what, what, what did we do? And so, um, and the Lord allowed us to give six figures into the Amen. gospel last year. Mm -hmm. And um, praise the Lord. That's yeah. amazing. And I remember there was a, a, some, a word that Jesse gave me, because yes. y'all are at church regularly, yes. and, and, and something about the mil God's raising up millionaires yes. in our church. Yes. And y'all grabbed hold of yes. that. You're business yes. people. Mm -hmm. um, the, Brother Jesse had preached a message, and he actually said in this message that, um, he writes multi-million dollar contracts. Yes. And so my husband grabbed a hold of that. He stood up and he was like, I take that. I received that. And so Amen. that became our confession. We signed multi-million dollar contracts. Amen. And so we would confess that and that would, we got our scriptures and we sowed according to that. And not too long after that, the Lord downloaded a wisdom to my husband mm -hmm. and began the process mm -hmm. of writing a multi-million dollar contract. Mm -hmm. And the beginning of this year, we signed that multi-million dollar contract. I remember contract. when you wrote that yes, contract that to the church because yes. y'all yes. wanted us to lay hands yes. on that. Yes. And I don't know if you know it, but there were other couples in the church that grabbed hold of that. Yes. And they said, that, yes, that happens yes. to me all the time. Too. Amen. Yes. <laughs> oh, that yes. became wow. their confession. Yes. And they said, well, they can do it. I can do it. Amen. You know, that's what's wonderful about our yes. story, how yes. we can encourage and spark yes. other, in yes. others the passion and the belief to be able to receive a story like Amen. that for themselves and see victory. That is an amazing story. Yes. yes, and you know Praise what I God. love about this? You did not have supposed it don't work syndrome. I know yes. my boss talks about that. You didn't think, I'm not going to say it because it's too big. I'm yes. not going to go there because yes. what What if it doesn't happen? Yes. I get my hopes up yes. and then my kids see it. You didn't even go there. You knew. Yes. You had that yes. belief. I know when we mm -hmm. spoke the other day, you said your belief started for just getting a high chair yes. for your daughter. Yes. Will you share yes. that? Absolutely. So. The first thing when we when we understood, oh, we can use our faith to believe God for things. Like, mm -hmm. so that means I can believe God to pay my light bill, but what about this high chair? And so I remember getting the scriptures and God supplies all my need according to the riches of his glory. And Lord, we need a high chair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that week the Lord supplied the high chair. And so it started with supernatural high chairs to mm -hmm. literally everything that we've had. Um, we're a homeschool Christ. family. Yeah. And when we started homeschooling, we didn't have a home to homeschool in. Mm -hmm. And so it, we believed God for the books, for everything that we needed just along the way. Mm -hmm. And um, even with us getting into business, just 
the Lord supernaturally, um, we, by this point we had purchased our own home mm -hmm. and the Lord had spoke to my husband, I want you to believe for double. Mm -hmm. And so that meant investing into business. Mm -hmm. And so this was Monday, we closed on our house on Monday. Well, Friday we needed $7,000. And the Lord supernaturally provided the $7,000 for us to move into business. Wow. And so just $7 high chair to everything, like God has just been so good and mm. just so continuously, yeah. even just like with um, one of the things that you said in the book, Pastor Kathy, is that the anointing of God, it's not only for church, mm -hmm. it's for you to be a wife, a mother, a business person, whatever it is, the anointing of God is there for Everyday life. Yeah, everything. Yes. Yeah. And Every anoints day. by the Spirit to do whatever it is that you're called to do, yes. whether you're a school teacher or a, or a yes. uh, homeschool mom, yes. mm -hmm. or uh, yeah, but you also work in the business yes. along with your husband, yes. or you know whether you're a hairdresser yes. or you know, shoe salesman, you name it. That's you know? right. He'll and take you and use you right where you are absolutely. to minister to other people. I believe there's so many out there right now that are being ministered Amen. to. Maybe they can't pay a bill. Well, often we get some comments that mm -hmm. say, you know, I'm believing to, to pay this off offer to do this and we see it it does happen yes. mm -hmm. you can yes. have a glorious life right. and yes. know that God will not only meet your need but he'll give you what yes. you want right. he will do because he's a good father he yes. is you know what I especially love you talked about how you have family around mm -hmm. you you could have went to mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. but God was teaching you yes. to go to him yes mm -hmm. and so you, yes. when you went to the father he he's yes. taught you and showed you yes. how he is your supply absolutely he is the one who can absolutely. he helps you to do all these things yes. that he calls you to do mm -hmm. yes it's powerful it is powerful just to have that relationship, one of the scriptures, um, it's my favorite scripture in Ephesians 3.19, mm -hmm. and it says that we may come to know through experience for mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. the love of God. Mm -hmm. And and then it goes on to say, so that we could be filled unto the fullness mm -hmm. of God himself. And Amen. so just knowing that in the first half of that, like, God, you're a God and you allow us to know you. Mm -hmm. And we get to know him through experience. And so it was the knowing God in believing God for the high chair and the bills to be paid to know like when that air, when the, when the heater was off, God, you're going to provide the need for this. You're going to mm -hmm. do it. You are, you have never let us down. Mm -hmm. And so just being so confident in the promises of God, because I've gotten to experience him and I've yeah. gotten to know him yes. and to know that we can be filled with God. Like I just, yes. I think that's amazing. Every time I read that, I think like, Lord, you created us as a body to be filled yeah, he with you. He <laughs> created you to be filled, yes. not just for yourself, but yes. to yes. overflow yes. Right. to yes. others around us. I'm just thinking about yeah. the overflow and how yes. your kids yes. must be being impacted yes. by this oh. story. That's and right. I, yes. that just touches my heart yeah. so much because they've walked this yes. along with you. Yes. They've gone through yes. the difficult times the older yeah. ones have. Yes. Yes. And they can see and yeah. how much farther along yes. will they be Absolutely. when they're young adults. Yes. Because they've watched your story, yeah. you and your husband's mm -hmm. story come mm -hmm. to pass. It's it's their yeah. story too. Yes, yes it it's is. Their story it's too. it's um it's really neat because um a few months ago they asked, so you mean we weren't really rich? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even they didn't know. You know, kids you don't know. I didn't know. Yes. I grew up very poor. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. I didn't know I was poor till that time when yeah. when I brought the check to the school to pay for my school pictures yeah. and they told me the check bounced. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, so no. I figured out we <laughs> must be like, poor. <laughs> It. But you know, they didn't yeah. know. They didn't no. know. They didn't know. And and it, it, it's just a blessing to, it doesn't matter what your externals mm -hmm. are. That's it right. matters what the word of God says. And if you give the Lord time, Come he on. will bring to pass whatever it is that you're believing for. And um, I just love that because that's something that I hear Brother Jesse say all the time. Like, I didn't ask you to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. I asked you to believe for it. Always. And you had mentioned that, um, Chrissy, about it doesn't matter how big. Take the limits off of God and dream. Mm -hmm. dream. And dream big because God is not intimidated by mm -hmm. what we ask him for. Right. And just to see, and, and I dream big. Whatever mm -hmm. I get, I, the beginning of the year I get, I dream as big as I can possibly. And every right. year he is faithful to do exceedingly abundantly above and beyond mm -hmm. anything that I could ever ask or think. Amen. Praise and I feel God. like your husband and you uniting like that. There's yeah. so many marriages, people, they want that. Yeah. And that, that was your faith. I know we talked about faith connectors. Yeah 
on another episode yes. and you mentioned it, he was your biggest faith connector. Yes. Yes. And you were in yes. one accord, yes. in agreement, yes. and you did not let your children see yes. anything other than what you yes. knew God wanted to come out of you. Yes. And I just think that's so important Amen. that you know words are vessels, yes. and Amen. that everything we confess, we do it with with that passion behind yes. it, knowing that God's going to do it for us. To believe that's what glorious living Amen. is. It's Amen. it's when those circumstances of life aren't ideal, mm -hmm. knowing that God got me, I'm mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. and we're yes. going to get it. We're going to get it. And it's going to be bigger and better than we can ever imagine. And I love that you're walking in the fullness of that now. Yes. And it's just the beginning, yes. you know, for you yeah. and your whole yes. family. Yes. That's yes. so good. That's yes. so good. You know, yes. and I just love the fact that, you know, it really doesn't just happen on its own. We have mm -hmm. to realize that, mm -hmm. yeah, God has a great plan for our lives, mm -hmm. but we have to take part of that. Yes. We have to do something as well. Yes. It doesn't happen yes. just by itself. Yes. We right. have to yes. agree with God, yes. mm -hmm. have to speak and declare what yes. his word is. Take the time to go through the Bible. Yeah. Like you said, y'all yeah. y'all spent years probably yes. just feeding on the yes. word of God, yes. making sure that his word was first place mm -hmm. and what he said, regardless mm -hmm. of what your circumstances mm -hmm. looked like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what made the difference. It, yes, absolutely. Yeah. We had gotten to the point where um, we had used this phrase, well, the natural just has to catch up. Ah, it'll well, catch up. I like like our spirit has got it. The natural yes. just, it'll catch up. Yeah, it's no And easy. eventually it does. <laughs> that's right. And yeah, and so God has just been just so faithful, just Praise so good. Lord. And um, I would search, that was, you were mentioning that, just feeding ourselves and just testimonies, like the magazines would come in the mail and mm -hmm. I would look, like, I wanna know because this is what, that's what I needed. I yeah. needed finances and I knew that God, you did this for Abraham mm -hmm. and you've done this for so many people. So mm -hmm. I know that you can do this for me. And so um, I would yes. look at the testimonies he, he did it, right? And and just make those faith connectors with the right. testimonies that will come in the magazines and just hearing different, like God, you, if you've done it for anybody, you That's can do right. it for me. That's right. And I was the most impossible, and so if you've done this for this person, you can do it for me. Yes. Yeah. So he moved you from abstract poverty. Yes up into this this new level of yes. wealth that you're experiencing because yeah. you know God wants us to be blessed. Yes. He says he, he he puts his blessing on us so that we can be blessed. Abraham Amen. was very rich. Yes. No you know there God there's several examples in the Bible where people of, 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 that served God that were blessed. Mm -hmm. uh, David gave billions yes. to the temple building. Wow. Yes. And he wow. had the 400 men that had followed him into yeah. that cave that were depressed yes. depressed uh, in debt and discouraged yes. and they became his mighty men and they contributed yeah. too. Yes. God brought them to from abstract poverty like yeah. you, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but they watched a, uh, David do something in the cave. He gave praise to God. Yes. He, he recited yes. the promises of God. Yes. He didn't dwell on where the yes. negative were or where that's he, right. yeah. where he, with the difficult, he yes. looked at where God wanted him to go. Yes. And that's what we need to do today. We need mm -hmm. to look at where God wants us to go. In fact, all of this brings yeah. glory to God. Amen. That's right. It shows Amen. the devil, like we don't need your world system. No, God has a better system. Yes. If we'll rely upon him and his word, he can raise us up yes. to a level of glorious living that a Astounds us yeah. and That's the right. world and yes. the people around us. Absolutely, I know your te your life has been a testimony to others in your life yes. and your family. Yes, and absolutely, as well. absolutely. And you know, it's amazing because you use that with uh, David's mighty men, even the people um, who work with us in mm -hmm. in business, just to be able to, can you pray for me? They're not oh, they're yes. not necessarily serving the Lord, but they know that we are. Uh -huh. And can you pray for me? I I know I've seen what God has done wow. for you. God is real, and He He is so real. He's real. Yes. And he's so tangible, yes. and He so think. wants to bless yes. us. Yes. Yes. A lot of people are afraid of that word "rich." You know, yeah. it's a four yeah. letter word. Yeah. <laughs> but they it, we shouldn't be afraid of yeah. it. God wants to raise up people in this earth that are believers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the enemy has been the one who's wanting to keep everybody yeah. down and keep them the That's church right. down with yeah. less because He doesn't want our voices to be heard. Yes. But when we're blessed and prosperous and we give glory to God and we honor Him yeah. by letting the world know it, it's all Him. He's yes. the one who's done it. He, it, yes. it brings Him glory. It absolutely you know? does. And, and it reminds me, um, your, our earthly fathers, if our earthly Amen. fathers would not allow their children to go without. How much more our Heavenly Father? How, yes. much, more? How much more? Right, And you yeah. have a beautiful example of your earthly yes. father. He's yes. an amazing yes. man. Yes. He is an amazing, <laughs> and amazing your mother, dad. precious, yes. precious yes. family. Yes. Warrior. But not yes. all of us had that. I didn't have yeah. a great example yeah. as a father. You know, yeah. for my father, you have had, a, you love, have an amazing yes. father. Yeah. My but we can look to our Heavenly Father yeah. and realize that He's a good father. That's right. Yes, he, is. he wants yes, the best for us. And He wants us to walk in victory every day. Not just some of the time, but all of the time. 
time yeah. and that the presence of God is tangible. It's right there for you right now yes. and that we can we can commune with him directly yeah. through Jesus. Yes. And I, to me, that is the biggest gift and the, the most richest thing in the world, knowing yeah, that yeah. we have the Lord, we have Jesus, yeah. and we can flow in the Holy Spirit, help others in this journey of life That's yes. all right. and, and just know that we can do this together. We're yes, not meant right. to do it alone. Right. And look yes. at us doing yes. it together yes. right Amen. now. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. Yes, we're doing yes. it together. And you know, I believe there are people watching today that have yeah. realized that yeah, they can have a better life. Amen. Maybe you've watched, you've tuned in and you're watching this on some type of a device and you realize that God has a better life for you. Let's. We're going to pray for yes. you. Let's all just so join in. Father, Thank we're Jesus. going to pray for you right now because Thank God you. has brought you here for a purpose. So Thank I don't want you, you to give up on your life. God has Amen. a great life for you and you're hearing all of this for a reason. Father, we pray for every person that's watching this broadcast today, Lord. We pray that you'll touch them right where yes, they are. God. Strengthen their heart, Lord. We impart the Spirit and the presence of God. We send it through that airways, yes, all the places that they're watching, Lord, that they'll hear from you and they'll know for a certainty that you love them, yes, that you care for them, that you are a good father and you want to help them to live a glorious life, a life that is free from pain and sickness, yes. a life that is free from poverty and disease, Lord, a life that is full of joy and full of strength. Lord, that helps them to raise their family, to, to be a light for you and yes. to be a, a bring glory to your yes, holy name. Jesus. Lord, we pray for every person that's watching it. Lord, that let their life be changed instantly because of the words that they have heard. Lord Jesus, you said your words are spirit and they are life. And Lord, we thank you that the spirit behind the words that we're speaking today are the, inspired by the Holy Spirit to touch every life. And we thank you for thank it you in Jesus, Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I'm Amen. loving it. I'm believing there's going to be an overflow yes. of increase Amen. for everyone yes. watching today mm -hmm. that they truly realize who they are, who they're meant to be, and that they start obeying. Because yes. to me, that was the key, yes. that you did not give up yes. when it looked like it was impossible. impossible. Yes. <laughs> and you decided, you just yeah. stood on your ground and you knew yeah. God's going to come through. He yes. did it for them. He could do it for me. Amen. Amen. I love this. Yes. 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 And nothing is impossible. The natural just has to catch up. And, and it will. Great. Yes, it and will. it will. <laughs> and that's a word for you yeah. too. And I want to say thank you to our, all our partners that are watching yes. with us today. And if you're not a partner, you can be. You can choose to give and begin. Uh, it's all the information is on the screen. It's through PayPal or JDM.org. Or you can mail in your donation in the mail. And just know that we thank you and appreciate you helping us to get this program out so people's lives can be changed. And you know, so much is going on over here at the ministry. Oh, you know, We, we always like to promote our partner, our conferences. The yes. next conference yes. that's coming up, I know you have been to the Visionary yes. Conference. Yes. Yes, I have. I'm it is married. explosive, yes. and we have such an anticipation right here on the property for that conference. Yeah. And the dates, if you can get here, here right here in the New Orleans area, I want you to make your plans today to come for July the 14th and the 15th. It's three powerful services. It's free to attend. It takes place right here at JDM International Headquarters in Destrehan, Louisiana. And it is so amazing. It and we is. have a powerful time of worship. My husband, Jesse, has a, a Thursday night, Friday morning, and Friday night service that mm -hmm. is so explosive. Jam-packed with yes. good stuff. He's yes. known to be a, a visionary, you yes. know, and he really ignites the visions in the lives. And people bring their whole staff yes. to this and, yeah. and business people as well as pastors yeah. that come. So yeah. we're ex expecting. Yes. It's going to be so going good. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> we love and it. And we're already getting ready for Glorious next year in now March. You know, I'm excited 2023. Yes. yes. Yeah. But be sure and keep up with that. The dates are March the 24th and the 25th also right here at JDM International Headquarters. And it's going to be so exciting. I can't wait. So ladies, make sure to come get your get your running yes. shoes on because we're known to have some games yes <laughs> me ladies and always get the games going yeah. oh yes we have so much fun and you just don't want to miss and it and most you people don't. love that glorious girl talk chat time yes, that we call do. the girl talk panel we do and we answer questions about everything whether it's relationships family mm -hmm. career goals and visions um and people are just people love it the ladies and some men kind of sneak some glorious men oh come and, and that's sneak what in. i want to say about my new book which you were chatted <laughs> yeah. about a little bit we have my, my new book that's out it came out in it's march wonderful. it's called your design for glorious living and i've talked Several men have told me they love it. They said, I'm going to be a glorious man. <laughs> <laughs> they it's are not glorious just women. Man. <laughs> the stories in there, all the things that we've part of, things that have happened in my life over the years, and it just touches me that it's been a help to you. Yes, That's beautiful. Absolutely. It has absolutely. Been. Thank you so much. Oh, well, yeah. thank you so much for being with us thank today. You. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Oh, I've so enjoyed myself. You this has been wonderful. Such a Welcome blessing. to Studio C. We'll have you yes. back. Yes. This is yes. really all we love to be back. Yes. So thankful for thank you. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching today, and thank you for being who you are. But realize that God has 
created you and destined you to live a glorious life. And that is available to you in the Word of God. And we hope you've learned some today that's changed your life forever. I hope you'll join me next week for another glorious living right here in Studio C. God bless you. Bye-bye. So what's next, ladies and gentlemen? So much more. You got to keep your vision moving. You got to keep your faith growing. Don't compromise and don't settle. You're just getting started. Jesse Duplantis' 2022 Visionary Conference, July 14th and 15th at JDM International Headquarters, 1973 Armand Boulevard in Destrehan, Louisiana. Admission is free. Go to JDM.org and register today. Because God wants to take your vision to a new level. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.